Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to show off my new White's True Frock Enclosure. But before I do that, I have to put a serious disclaimer, okay? I have a whole other video that I already filmed, I will include up here and in the links below, that talks about some issues I've had with my White's True Frogs and their health. This enclosure is adapted to work with my frog, Coco, who's been having some issues. And I talk about that at length in the other video. So please watch that one first and then come back to this. I'd also like to say that this setup works for white tree frogs regardless of whether or not they have these problems. But I did have a more grand vision in mind. Like I wanted to have a DIY background. I wanted to have bioactive substrate. That would be kind of similar to their previous enclosure, but just on a bigger scale. Unfortunately, I could not do that. So I will also include their previous enclosure video, which is like an introduction to them as well, down below and up here. And you can check that video out and then just kind of imagine this enclosure, but with those elements as well, because that's what I originally wanted. But you work with the cards you're given, and so that's what I did. Without further ado, here is my new white tree frog enclosure. Enjoy. All right, everyone. I hope you don't mind the background noise because I don't feel like turning off the air pumps for the frogs. But this is my white tree frog enclosure. It is a 48 by 18 by 24 all American cages enclosure with a front opening door and a custom mesh panel on the top. Now let's go ahead and take a look inside. So the doors open like this. I only have one latched right now because there's nothing living inside yet, um, but it has latches all the way around and it drops open like so. And hello, there's me. And now we're going inside the enclosure. On the bottom, we have, oh, wait a minute. I have to do something really important. This is a special shout out to Violet who enjoys my White's Tree Frog videos. Violet, thank you for watching and supporting me. And uh, soon you'll see the White's Tree Frogs. I'm just gonna do a quick enclosure tour and then I'll show off the frogs. So on the bottom we have sphagnum moss, which goes all over the bottom. Now I know people have the immediate concern that sphagnum moss is an impaction risk. I do not feed my frogs on the bottom of this enclosure. In fact, I feed them outside the enclosure. I line them up on the ledge of their enclosure uh, door and feed them. So this is not a concern of mine, especially since they've had sphagnum moss in the past and they did fine with it. The reason I had to go with sphagnum moss and not a soil type of substrate is because of Coco's ongoing health issues. If any of his leg sore bump things open up, then he could be exposed to the dirt and the dirt could get stuck inside of it. So I had to go with a substrate that wasn't going to get stuck. And I also didn't want paper towel because I'm so sick and tired of looking at paper towel. So I went with sphagnum moss and like I said, it lines the entire bottom. I have this absolutely gorgeous bowl that was made by Daniela. I'll include the Etsy down below for her shop. It's QD Reptiles, but it's just absolutely stunning. All I said to her was a bowl of this size that looked like a koi pond and wow, did she pull through. Like it's absolutely stunning. I wanted to have one giant centerpiece bowl as you know, like just like the big showstopper of the bottom of the enclosure. I also have these two smaller bowls, which are just food grade ceramic bowls, but my frogs love sitting in water. And so I wanted to give them that option, but like, I'm just obsessed with this bowl. Like look how beautiful it is. So it's this deep, it goes to like right above my first knuckles. And then this one's a little bit deeper and the same with the other one, which is the same over here. Just make sure when you give your white tree frogs water that it's dechlorinated. That way it's nice and safe for them. Throughout the enclosure, you will see manzanita wood. Manzanita wood is my favorite wood. If you have not seen any of my other videos, then you probably won't know that I'm absolutely obsessed with manzanita wood, but truly it is my favorite. I get my manzanita wood from Manzanita Direct. I will include a link to them down below and I'll include a link for all the stuff that's in this enclosure down below. But yeah, I just, I love manzanita wood. And then you'll also see a lot of fake pothos vines which were by the brand flukers and it is six feet per bag and i think i have five bags in here so you know quite a few um but i just love the way it turned out i, I just i think it's so pretty up top we have the mesh screen portion now for white tree frogs you want to have good ventilation however i can't have a full mesh screen top because coco my white tree frog has a problem with like jumping like a space rocket up into the ceiling of the enclosure and scratching his face on the mesh. So I had to give him um, a smaller section of mesh so he could still have UVB, but that he would smack his face on this instead of 
this and don't worry these are all soft like there's nothing they can scratch themselves on i literally went through with my hand and felt every single crevice and crease in this enclosure for anything that might have been sharp because coco is my problem child the light that you see here is an arcadia t5 ho 36 inch well it's probably more like 34 35 inches but you know what i mean 36 inch um six percent uvb bulb and it is covering three quarters of the enclosure. So they have like this side over here and then this little side over here. And then of course, all of the areas in the in the back and the bottom corners to hide, to get away from UVB because when you use UVB, you are supposed to have a half to three quarter covering and no more. So make sure if you get a UVB tube that it's not the full length of the enclosure, that it is just a half to three quarters. The enclosure has ventilation here and it has ventilation there and there and it has ventilation here and here and it has ventilation there and there and it has ventilation over here and then of course it has the strip up here for ventilation as well oh and the light is set on a timer that way they have a proper like day night schedule for the uvb and their light i think that's everything uh oh the plants are hung on with little command hooks but i didn't use the traditional adhesive i use something stronger so that's not really going to come off with great ease and yeah they're just hung in place that way and yeah that's that's it this is the entire enclosure i believe it is equivalent to like a hundred gallons although i'll include on the screen right here how many gallons it actually is but yeah that is the entire enclosure it's massive like, here's a polydarium I'm working on, so <laughs> it's not good yet, don't look! But up here, it's, like, huge. Like, this is 40 gallons right here. Like, it's a big enclosure. All right, this is the problem child, Coco. Here you go, friend. Sorry I woke you up, but I'm putting you in during the day so that I can actually see what I'm doing. All right, so there's Coco, and we'll go get the rest. This little blue boy, this little bluey, this is Barry. Sit down. Don't climb me, and <laughs> you have to go in your house. Here, go sit with your brother. Here you go. Don't eat your brother. Be kind, be gentle. Okay, next one. This is Kiwi. I'm a little bit biased. I think Kiwi's the most beautiful frog that ever lived because I love like the derpiness. Oh, hi. I love the derpiness. Are you ready to go in your house? You stop, you have to turn, you have to turn it. You're going, you have to, you have to no <laughs> okay okay here let's set you here come on there you are look how pretty you look oh my goodness look how pretty you look okay let's get durian and then the whole crew's in here and this is big boy durian oh it's not even focused on you king focus this is durian thick boy here you go come on you gotta hang on so <laughs> hey don't eat your sibling what was the warning Hmm? What was the warning? No consumption. Oop! <laughs> Stop! Stop it now, children! They always be trying to eat each other because they're just. <laughs> this is wrong. Look at you left it all. Yeah, I know you tried to eat my camera, but you left it all blurry. I gotta go wipe your slime off of it now. Here. So still. Okay, so Kiwi, who attacked it. Don't do it! Don't do it! I just cleaned it. Don't do it. I don't do it. So there's Kiwi. And Durian. Kiwi. Durian. And there's Barry. Little boy bear. I swear to God if you do it, Kiwi. Stay still. And then there's Coco up there. So yeah. This is them in their new enclosure. As you can see, like they're quite small in comparison, um, but they jump really far and they're very active frogs. So I really don't mind giving them like larger than the traditional space they're supposed to have. Ain't that right, Kiwi? Are you going to enjoy your new house? What about you? Barry, Durian, any words? Nothing, no brain cells. I think between all four of them, they have a collection of two and a half brain cells. So this one has the least. This one right here has the least. <laughs> my camera keeps going. <laughs> my camera keeps going blurry because stupid Kiwi left his little slimies on it. And now it can't find him. 
Y'all look so pretty. And how are you doing, good sir? Okay, so this one, half a brain cell. This one, half a brain cell. And then between the two of them, they've got the others. Are you, you look like you're ready to launch. Are you gonna just jump right out of here? Right at me? Is that what's gonna happen? Huh? Are you just gonna launch your butt right over here? Y'all look so pretty! <laughs> Y'all look so cute! Yeah, like, this is just them in half the enclosure as well. There's a whole half the enclosure over here, so I'm psyched. I really hope they like this new space. Yes, I do hope you like this new space. Oh, and everyone who always says, like, they need a vertical enclosure. Yes, I agree. This, that's why this is two feet tall. But imagine putting these frogs in an 18 by 18 by 24 just because it looks vertically taller. Heck no. You know what I mean? Like, you can have a tall enclosure and still have horizontal space as well. Like, this gives them so much more room than just if I were to just look at an enclosure vertically, if that makes sense. <laughs> Y'all are so cute! I know, I'm sorry, I woke two of you up. Because Kiwi and Durian, I think, were already awake. Don't you dare jump on me, Kiwi. Don't you dare do it. Don't do it, Kiwi. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> what about you, Coco? Nothing. Not a sound. Not a thought. Nothing. Super pretty babies. Oh, we're experiencing movement between Coco and Kiwi. Oh, <laughs> do not jump on me, Kiwi. I don't need a wrap. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't even think about you guys using this middle piece here. I didn't even think about that. That's great. Look at you. You're like a little model. Also, Coco is like ready to jump back there. But I'm afraid if I move too much, <laughs> Kiwi will leap. Just do it, Kiwi. Just do it already. Like, I'm ready. Just do it. Just do it. Get it out of the way. Get it out of the way, then. Do it! <laughs> like, I know you're going to. Just quit staring at me and do it already. You're so cute. I didn't even think about them using this middle piece like that. That is so great. I mean, only when the door's open. When it's closed, it's just a support beam. But... That's cute. Oh! There goes Barry. Hello, little one. <laughs> so cute and tiny. Oh, hi! See, this is what I mean. They'll, like, come sit on the edge. That's what Barry's about to do, I think. But, like, when I feed them, I'll feed them, like, up on top of the branches, or I'll feed them on the front of their enclosure. That way they're not, like, near each other when they're eating, because when they're near each other, oh my god, they'll try to eat each other. Hi! And then, if I feed them on here, they're away from the substrate as well, so nice and safe for them. I'm not worried. <laughs> Durian. Who's next? Hmm? Who's coming out? I'm coming out. Bing, 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 bing. Nothing? I see you up there, Coco. I see you. You gonna come down? <laughs> One frog. Uh oh, Durian coming. The big boy coming. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh, big boy found the water dish. Doesn't surprise me. Durian spends so much time floating in the water. Look, ah, little bit of waters. Well, it's told you, first thing that they're gonna do, right in the waters. Right in the waters. Kiwi, if you jump out of this enclosure, so help me, I will catch you like a little baseball. This is my mitt, well, I'll catch you. You understand? Barry's a good boy, just be chilling. Coco's good too, just chilling up there. Are you enjoying your soak? <laughs> Hi, little. Are you enjoying your soak? Oh yes, I'm doing good hydrate. Yes, thank you. Thank you for inquiring. And then this one's just like hanging on, doing his thing. Oh, hello you. <laughs> and then Coco is still chilling. Coco, like do something. Jump, leap. 
I know you've got that like space rocket energy. Okay, I know you love to jump. And then Barry, just sing like a little boy. Are you gonna jump on me? Cause like the anticipation's killing me. Like I would just appreciate if you could do it already, and then I can grab you and put you back in the house. Like I would just love if you could just get it over with. Cause like I said, the anticipation is killing me. It's hard to tell from this angle, but like from how I'm looking down at him, like he's so squat in that water. Like he's this flat. Oh, are you about to poop? Are you about to poop on camera for everybody? I swear, if, if you poop like as soon as I've put you in this bowl, I'm going to be not surprised, but irate. What are you doing? You are definitely going to poop. I'm telling you, I know you're going to poop. Oh, and Coco finally joined the rest of us. Hi, what are you doing? What is this little like leg hop and skip you're doing? Like, what is this? Coco thanks for joining so now we've got Kiwi up here Barry down here Durian over there and Coco on top of his brother hey you just pushed him out of the Barry honey I'm so sorry come here you deserve to sit up here too that was so rude Coco damn you just literally pushed his little butt out of the way so rude little one so rude I'm still waiting for you to poop, Durian. I'm not really sure what all that fancy schmancy leg movement was back there, but I'm telling you, I think- What? You coming out now? Uh-oh. The Soaking King is joining us. Alright, I think it's time to let everybody get settled in and do their exploring. Alright, Mr. Barry. Oh, he's doing a swim! Coco, I know you just came over here, but we're gonna put you right here. Kiwi. Crazy kiwi. Come here. Come on. Oh, there we go. And you can go right here. All right, everybody. Oh my god. There you have it. Kiwi, Coco, Durian, and Barry. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below and I will address them. Please check out the links in the description for both the issues with Coco and also their introduction video, which can show a bit more about their previous enclosure that I would have liked to have, you know, made on a bigger scale for this. I will also have a link down there to All American Cages, which is the company that made this cage. And if you're interested in going with the background that you see in their previous enclosure, I actually have an affiliate link down below for that as well. If you click on that, it'll take you right to their website, but keep in mind it is an affiliate link, so I do make a commission if you purchase just through it. I will also leave links below to the numerous products that I use in this video, such as like where I get the manzanita wood, the plants, the UVB, etc. So just make sure you check the links below before you ask any questions. With that said, I thank you for watching. Please leave a like, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!